What is going on, obscure mic people? It is Bark. I am back with another microphone. I had to look on top, make sure the mute switch wasn't on. But I've got the Five Fine Ampli Game A8 here. It is a new microphone from Five Fine that is uh, similar to the old Ampli Game, but adds a new feature or two. Not sure about the sound, but we'll get there. USB C microphone. And we're going to do a little unboxing video and go from there. All right, today we're taking a look at the Fifine Ampligame A8 USB condenser microphone. Not to be confused with the original Ampligame, which we will put side by side with it, just so you can get a good look here. The Ampligame was the microphone that came to a permanently attached shock mount with a little snap-in, well, no, I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, snap-in pop filter and a capacitor button. USB-C, no latency free monitoring, LED lights, very lightweight. Let's uh let's compare it to the new Fi Fi and Ampli Game A8. A little box in here. I have already opened this, of course. I'm not unbox therapy. Got a USB A to C cable. Oh. Got a uh, mount. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. Okay. You got another mounting system, so you can take this off and uh, mount it to a stand or boom arm. That is what that is. That's very interesting. Let's plug this in so we can talk about it while it's lighting up. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take that off there. Okay, so we got the stand off there. It's a heavy-ish aluminum style stand. We'll set that to the side. We'll take our piece here, because this is how we want to do it anyways today. Not hard to do by any means. It does also come with a 5 8 to 3 8 stand adapter. You've got your USB-C and headphone jack on the bottom, so they did... I almost feel like they did this for me. They gave me the same mic, maybe a little taller with a headphone jack. So we'll use that headphone jack to our advantage here in a minute. But uh, again, I think we've got a permanently attached shock mount here with a nice metal pop filter that's also seemingly attached. Looks like we've got a uh, RGB button here, capacitive. Change the colors. Build quality is all plastic. Nothing special here. But again, cheap prices, man. We got a mute button on top. Let's get to it. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, we're gonna throw some tests into this thing. The pop filter is, I think, no, it does come off. I thought maybe it was fixed to it, but it is not. So we'll do some plosives on this thing here in a minute. Let's talk about the mic first. So this microphone comes in at $47.99, putting it right there with the likes of the Donner I recently reviewed. So. You just got to decide which one you like more if you're into the RGB lights and all that good kind of stuff. But again, this thing, $47.99, not a lot of specs to be found on this thing. It is obviously a cardioid condenser microphone, probably of the 14 millimeter capsule variety. That being said, let's start doing some tests here. $47.99, no coupons right now. So I do believe that comes in a little higher than this, which I think is $39.99 or was $39.99. So that's going to be interesting. Not, you know, I, I guess I did say whether it's five or 10 bucks to add latency free monitoring, we want it. We got it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. I like how I shake my finger. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the Five Fine Ampli game, this is what it sounds like. When you're directly on top of the Five Fine Ampli game, this is what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and do some off axis rejection. 90 degrees into the side of the microphone. Then we're going to do 
180 degrees on the microphone and then back around to the front of the microphone now we will go ahead and put the pop filter back in snaps right in there just like the hunt for red october that was terrible peter piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza peter piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza it's a pretty slick looking mic i mean for the gamer streamer variety anyways not a bad looking mic at all let's test the mute button talking into the microphone now i'm going to hit the Mute button is now off. Mute button is now off. Let's now go ahead and talk about just some of the ins and outs, which are very few. The headphone amp, not super adequate. Of course, you could turn the gain up and get more out of it, but you're also going to get close to clipping when you do that. I am pushing it just a little bit now and turning the gain up. I am hitting some red on my recording program. But I can also back that off with the slider in that program, which is Streamlabs. And so here we go, hopefully getting those same levels, but a little more headphone volume. I would have liked for the headphone volume to be independent. So give a point to Donner there. But it is, again, all about the sound. We're going to throw a sound sample of the Five Fine Ampla game, the original, in here, let's say now. And this is the old Ampla game from Five Fine, the old Ampla game. And then we'll come right back to this to kind of wrap things up. $47.99. I just don't know. I just don't know. The sound is fine. I feel like it is extremely similar to this sound, even though I haven't went back and reviewed the two sounds. But this one may need a coupon to really dive into. It's... The Donner I was talking about on a different video, one of the most recent ones, it is all metal for the most part. It's a it's a heftier build, and there is a just kind of more you can do with it, honestly. It's got the independent headphone volume, so it's hard for me to compare USB microphones because here lately they all have some form of RGB, and they all sound like small electric condensers, but Five Fine does tend to hit on the sound a little better than most. So maybe the sound is something you're into. I think it is a tad bit smoother than most USB mics. So that's something to consider. But again, USB mics, not exactly something I use very often. And if I do, it's a handheld. So this video is for you streamers and gamers out there who are just streaming and gaming all the time, 24 seven. This is for you. Built in pop filter. Built in shock mount, not a goofy looking shock mount either, just a round, nice shock mount, which they did the same here. This shock mount's pretty nice and, and just, you know, low profile. This is a little smoother looking, just a Saturn's ring kind of effect. But if you like this one, the link is down below. Five Fine did send it over to me for the sake of this review. They're not paying me or anything like that. They just want me to check it out, make a video, show it to you guys, which I'm game to do on everything because Obscure Mike's goal is to do every microphone in the world except for the super expensive ones, because I can't do that. That's going to do it, though. Five Fine Ampla Game A8 is out of here. Bark is out of here. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comments down below. Good old USB mics. Just lots and lots of them. Aiden over on Dark Corner Studio says he's not doing them anymore. I am a little bit jealous. I feel like I need to do them, because even some absolute audio nerds that i talk to still buy usb mics out of curiosity so curiosity here as well i'll see you guys next time peace out